what's going on you guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to give you guys kind of an updated tour of all of the tanks that we have at the store that i work at i did this video about a year and a half or so ago and you guys seem to like it pretty well so i figured i would do it again because we don't have any of those fish that we did then now so we actually have a, a bunch of stuff in right now a little more fish than usual so i figured this would be a good time to do this video so i'm headed there right now and as soon as i get there i will pick the camera back up so i would turn on all these lights but uh, we're actually closed today and i don't want anybody thinking that we are open so i'm not going to turn them on but this store is 50 years old so nothing in here is going to look real fancy it's not going to look really really new or anything like that but there is some really really cool stuff and i wanted to show you guys So first starting out, this is our planted tank right here. You can see we have a pretty good assortment of plants near. This is actually somebody's. They're coming back to, to get that. But you can see we've got some crypts, a little bitty Anubias, uh, some four-leaf clover, some uh, hair grass back there. There's some spiralis. We've got some real nice Amazon swords. And then turning right here, this is one of our show tanks. We did not sell out of this tank. This tank is probably about 20 years old, honestly. Obviously, it's a saltwater tank has tons of different types of coral in it. We've got hammer coral, you got leathers, you got mushrooms, candy canes down there, some more mushrooms, got some pipe organ, got a big duncan right there, and then uh, these, this pair of clownfish, and then two damsels. That is it. This right here is our largest tank. We do sell out of this tank. Usually we just have our koi and bigger comets and stuff like that in here, but a lot of times this is where we will put our bigger trade-ins at. And uh, you can see we've got some, you know, fairly large koi in here right now, kind of in that 8 to 10 inch type range. Uh, there's a kind of a medium size Oscar that somebody actually traded in yesterday. And uh, there's a green several in here, kind of a bad glare, but right there. There's another one right there. That one's been in here a little bit longer. And then there's just some Sarasa comments. That's pretty much it in here. And then this is the fully freshwater side. Starting up here, this is where we usually keep most of our, our glowfish at. You can see we've got some greens. You can see we've got some of the black greens, some white skirts, um, and then some of the orange ones. And then also there's some uh, harlequins up there. Little baby Congo touch in there as well. Keep in mind, some of these tanks have got a little more fish in them than they usually would have. Uh, there's some black skirts, some geophagus in there, some little baby green severums, little baby ballast sharks. Uh, these are actually, I forget what kind of geophagus these were. Uh, there's some quarries in here, some green quarries. Then we have some glow danios. Then over here, we've got another big mix. We've got some Colombian tetras, some smaller blue cars. There's a little Curbenzis in here. Uh, there's some long fin zebra danios up there. Uh, what else? We've got some dojos in here at the moment. Uh, over here, another kind of a mix. There's some cherry barbs. There's some fancy serpe tetras. Those guys are pretty cool. There's some diamond tetras. Dwarf Grummies, uh, these are some Agazizii Cory Cats. If I can get a focus on them. And over here we've got uh, some small little red tail sharks. We've got some gold barbs, we've got some red eyed tetras, some small little silver dollars. Over here, another big mix. We've got some real nice blood fin tetras. Those guys just came in. We've got some pearl grommies, some uh, cell fin mollies. I think it's just females left. 
Over here we've got some platies, we've got some ember tetras, some Chinese algae eaters. There's a little brig of rasbora that's supposed to be in here. As you can see, there's a big school of those guys. There's some golden uh, Pristella tetras. There's a couple of uh, opaline grommies left in here. And there's actually, this is something new we just got in, little baby bumblebee cat. It's kind of hard to see, but there's one on back there. Those are actually the black bumblebees, so a little bit different. Uh, here's some serpe tetras and some tinfoil barbs. Over here, turning the corner, we've got some Buenos Aires and some small little Odessa barbs. Haven't really gotten much color yet. And then just some Australian rainbows. We've got some little baby Brichardi over here. Little baby Frontosa. These are actually fruit tetras. They're not white skirt tetras. They have a little bit of color in them. There's some little baby, baby albino peacocks. Those guys need to get a little more size on them. There's some gold dust mollies. Over here, we've got some what are called lavender grommies. It kind of looks like a gold and a blue mixed together. And there are some actual blue grommies. Uh, a couple more small brichardi in here, and then some small little baby cynodonis. Over here, we've got some peacocks. Uh, we've got kind of a mixed batch. We do have some lemons in here, and uh, that's pretty much it. Coming down here, we've got some bigger peacocks. You can see it's another big mix. There's actually a real, real nice blue dolphin in here at the moment. And then we've got some small little frontosa. Over here we've got smaller Africans, uh, some Mbunas and whatnot. There's some Venustas in here, and then we have a bunch of Palecos right now. Got a few more peacocks over here, a little bit bigger Acaras. Um, then over here we have a bunch of little baby Curbenzas that somebody brought into us. Some pink kissers. Right here we have some fry of uh, what are called oblique Africans. And then we have some uh, filamentosa barbs in here. Pretty cool. Smaller Palecos. Got another bunch of big batch of babies. These are uh, red jewel cichlids. These guys have been here for a while. Somebody brought them into us. Right here we've got some baby regular uh, striped convicts and peak convicts. And we also have some little baby Jack Dempsey's in here as well. Uh, not much in here. We've got some small little bitty plecos. And that is about it. Oh well, we've got one little ruby red Oscar left in here. He's just kind of hanging out on the bottom right now. Uh, here's some gold grommies. We've got some rainbow sharks in here. And a uh, couple of small little bitty bishers. There's, oh, there's actually a really nice black ghost knife in here. Check this guy out. He's hiding in this log. Look at that guy. We actually got him in on an order. Super, super nice. Then over here we've got some little baby pakus. That's going to be it in there. And then we've got some uh, kind of medium-sized tiger barbs and some regular zebra danios. We have some smaller tiger barbs and regular old crawfish. This is the tank we usually have our blue lobsters in. We just don't have any in here at the moment. Then over here, the lighting in this tank is kind of bad, but we have some giant danios. Got some really nice, some, some of them in this week. And then some uh, Pictus cats. Then we come over here. Check these guys out. Neon rosy barbs. Love those guys. Got a little bigger bit of some uh, green severums. And actually, I told you guys wrong. These are not green severums. These are actually orange shoulder severums. They just don't have that orange band just yet, but they will get that when they get bigger. But these are true green severums. Then we have some little bit bigger silver dollars in here. Over here we have some red spot severums. These guys are gorgeous when they get some size on them. These are Geophagus brasiliensis. Um, then there are some black blackfin sharks and some super nice and healthy clown loaches hanging out back there. Then over here we've got some smaller what are called purple parrots. Uh, they are not injected, they're not dyed or anything. They just have a little bit brighter of a red than a typical parrot has. Kind of a purplish tint some of them do and under the right lighting you can really see it. Uh, but some purple parrots, some, uh, more silver dollars, small Oscars right there and there's a little baby fire mouth cichlid. And over here we have some larger just regular parrots. Those are not. Those are actually called yellow parrots, so they'll keep that kind of a yellow color. Uh, then up here, these are pretty cool. These are two needle nose guard that somebody actually traded in. Then down here, not too much. Uh, we have some what are called King Kong parrots. Look like a regular old parrot right now, but once they get some size on them, they're going to kind of start to change a little bit. And we have some little bit bigger bishers in here. Then right here, this is kind of our mixed uh, South American cichlid tank. We've got some smaller red devils, some Jack Dempsey's, a couple different sizes in here. Uh, we've got a little bit bigger Cynodonus. There's a pretty big one back there. And this is a, a Texas cichlid. He's pretty beat up. Somebody brought him in yesterday. So the longer he sits here, as long as nobody picks on him, he should heal up pretty fine. All right, my battery on my camera is getting really, really low. So I'm gonna have to speed through the rest of these. But over here, this is our goldfish side. A little bit smaller of a side of the tanks. Uh, we've got some 
Calico fans and red fans up here. We've got some small comets and small shabunkins up here. We've got some smaller butterfly koi. Then over here we've got some black moors. Got some Ryukins. There's actually one Aranda in here. That's him right there. Just doesn't have much of a cap yet. Uh, these are some more mixed Aranda. Somebody's supposed to be coming and picking these guys up. There's some really nice ones in here. Then there's some small little baby koi. Down here we've got some red and white Sarasa comets, smaller than the ones I showed you guys around front. We've got our feeder comet tank. And then we've got some bigger uh, butterfly koi and regular koi in here. A little bit bigger comets and also some bigger uh, shabunkins. So that's pretty much it on the goldfish side. And that's pretty much it for freshwater. And then over here is obviously our saltwater side. So starting out down here, we've got one little gold stripe maroon down here. We've got a coral beauty angelfish. Pretty cool guys right there. Uh, we've got some designer clowns in here. It looks like a snowflake. Uh, we've got a self-entang, a three-stripe danzel, and then a little school of some engineer gobies. Then over here we've got some smaller tomato clowns. We've got some blue damsels. Real, real nice lunar wrasse. A little bit on the smaller side right now. We've got some domino damsels. Uh, what else we got here? We got some Clarky clownfish or sea bays. Those guys get pretty big. Coming up top, not much right now. Uh, we've got a self-entang, some small green chromis. Little Royal Grama right there, pretty cool fish. And uh, those are actually called shark nose gobies. So uh, that tank was pretty full yesterday, but we sold a lot of it. And look at the Niger triggers, holy cow. We usually just keep two of these guys, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them right now. And a real, real nice clown trigger up there. Uh, down here, we've got a black line fish. We've got a snowflake eel. We've got another lunar wrasse. Then over here, we've got some more clowns. We've got some skunk clowns. Black Ocellaris. Up here we have a pair of domino clownfish. There's a Scopus thing, he ain't doing so well. Uh, there's some pajama cardinals, pretty small, regular Ocellaris, and then just some firefish. Turning the corner, we've got some black snowflakes. There's a chocolate chip star up there. Uh, these tanks are a little bit hazy. I just had to add some water to the sump, so they're kind of getting back up and going. But um, regular old orange snowflakes. There's a really, really nice aero crab. Then over here, look at these guys. Big, big green chromis. Uh, you don't see that a lot. Somebody actually traded them in yesterday. Then we have what are called round tail clownfish. We've got a warming white. We've got our cleaner shrimp. Uh, and then we usually have some emerald crabs in here. There's a big old conch right there. Used to have a big one of those guys. Uh, then down here, there's not much right now, but this is our coral tank. We have some pipe organ that's just now starting to come out. A customer brought all that in actually. Uh, then we've got some purple mushrooms right there. We've got a pretty big leather and then we have some Duncans over here uh, we got some Zoas back there and a couple of other things but uh this is honestly kind of empty right now got some feeder fish and that ladies and gentlemen is pretty much it there's one more fish I wanted to show you guys somebody brought them in yesterday look at this they actually bred them in their tank these are called platinum parrot fish and it looks like a pink convict and a parrot mixed together there's that one and then hold on where's that one there he is right here look at that Pretty cool little dudes. They don't get as big as the regular parrots do, and uh, but they do get mean. Like, they get real, real mean. If my battery on my camera wasn't so low, I would have kind of taken my time a little bit more with filming all that, but uh, that's pretty much it. And I mean, my boss has been doing this for 50 years, and obviously he has it down to the T. And we get shipments of fish every week. We get a consistent shipment every Thursday and sometimes multiple other shipments. But uh, if you guys want me to, I would do an unboxing of when we get our next shipment. So uh, just comment down below if you guys would like to see that. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a like down below. Hey, come and check us out. We're located in Montgomery, Alabama. Name of the store is Wet Pet. So if you're ever passing through or, you're in, or if you live in this local area, come by and check us out. So Thank you guys for watching as always, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.